Drunken Master 3 is a revenge movie, not in terms of plot, but Lau Kar Long wanted to make this movie basically because he got in a fight with Jackie Chan in the second movie. So he decided to make his own movie uh, with Andy Lau and a couple others. Um, this one is about a princess who's supposed to marry this dictator. Uh, he gives her a jade ring, however, he's supposed to take it back. However, the, uh, the revolutionaries are able to kidnap her of sorts and uh, keep her away. And uh, it's like a road trip story. So they bump into Wong Fei Hung's father, who basically tells them to meet somewhere. And basically Wong Fei Hung and her bond, they go on a road trip adventure when they bump into this uh, wine merchant uh, man. Uh, the movie doesn't have enough martial arts in it. People say that, you know, the martial arts is enough, but honestly, there wasn't enough fights. There, there's a couple here and there. There's this really strange gay man that shows up and just attacks everyone for no reason and disappears. It was a really tasteless part of the movie. Um, some good humor here and there, but uh, it's a very straightforward plot. You, you know, villains, heroes show up. It's very lighthearted in terms of plot. It's short, it's only like an hour and a half, but I really like Michelle Rias. You know, she's saw her recently in Flowers of Shanghai. She's great in this movie. She's like the queen of sequels. She's in like seven sequels, so she's great. And um, the guy who plays Wong Fei Hung's okay, but honestly, Andy Lau was only in the movie for a very short amount of time. You know, there's some action at the end, but overall it's a very, you know, undemanding, sequel and name only you know it, it, drunken fist is barely used in the movie and it's definitely not on par with the jackie chan movies so you know, it's too bad that they had a falling out because i could have used a third drunken master movie that would have been cool but this one is just sort of in name only so i give uh, drunken master three a uh, five out of ten